this is John Aberly of Aberly Enterprises. Today I want to show you how easy it is to create an infographic using Canva. Up here you can see the name uh, www.canv as in Victor a.com. And Canva is a free tool. There are some things like images and custom uh, templates that you may have to pay for, but the basic work can be done for free. Now it opens up here with all your designs and you can see that uh, th my designs are right in this area here. I click on create a design and that enables me to uh, scroll through some popular designs until I find the infographic under blogging and ebooks. I click on uh, the infographic and it brings up a variety of Canva layouts. I've already decided to use this particular one, making the world a better place. Now, the next thing that you need to think about is what are you going to put onto your uh, Canvas uh, infographic? And I decided to lay this out under planning your marketing SWOT uh, and content notepad. So this is what I'm calling the file. And it goes with my blog post, which is Averly Enterprises 113. And SWOT is a term that marketers use for working with clients called strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, uh, threats, and trends. Uh, some people don't have trends in theirs, but I think that's an important concept, so I wanted it in mind. So that is already uh, to be used on my layout. All right, the next thing was now that I have the layout is to add elements. You'll notice here that there's some free photos, grids, frames, etc., that you can use. We can grab the next word, which is strengths, and add that in, and then We're going to take the bullet points that I had under uh, strengths on my text file and add them into this particular uh, box. So while I had the recording off for a moment to check what I was doing, I came down to this area down here and it's outside of the uh, range of the screen at the moment, but I magnified what I have here. And I also, by magnifying it, was able to read and see that I had made a, a mistake on the title for this bullet and was able to edit it. Now, the next thing that I want to edit is this uh, little uh, URL down here. And again, I've copied and pasted from my uh, text document. So I have the URL that I want, and I will place it right there. The next thing that you, I want to do anyway is go back to the element C, and you've got free photos here, and you can click on any of these images that you might want to use and they tell you that they're free and if you come down far enough you'll find even higher quality ones that have a price um, typically like a dollar so i went ahead and scrolled down on the photos here to show you that some of them do actually have a price to them uh, and it's very nominal However, be sure to check what license rights you have. When you buy a photo from uh, a license to use a photo from Canva, uh, typically it's going to be for that one particular item that you're creating. So read your uh, licensing agreement with it. Uh, you can also 
in designing elements, uh, choose grids, frames, lines, illustrations, shapes, uh, icons, charts, etc. Uh, icons being like these. Now, you'll notice over here that there's a section called Uploads. And what I did was I uploaded my own images. So I can take out this particular image here and put in one of my own. Yeah, uh, and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but anyway, I uploaded an image and you can see the space right here for uploading your own images. Okay, uh, rather than make you uh, watch me pull all of my images here over onto the uh, infographic and then resize them to put them into place, I went ahead and completed this part of uh, creating the infographic. And you'll notice that I even have a little subheadline here uh, that I pulled once again uh, from the text document where I had all of this laid out. The very bottom here has a call to action. For more information, visit us at www.aberlyenterprises.com. Uh, on th a second think, thinking about this again, uh, after uh, doing the infographic for the second time, I realized I do not need these URLs. And so I'm going to pull them off. You'll notice that I'm just pulling them off the, the infographic. And the reason I don't need them is because originally this was an infographic for uh, five different organizations uh, in the nonprofit arena. And there is the infographic that I have. Now, one of the things that I need to uh, briefly cover for you is uploading your own images. And what I do is I go out here to either Google or Bing. Uh, my original search was on Bing, but um, pub uh, let's put in public domain, domain clip art. You'll notice that it comes up here, and I just put that in place. And that has a, a variety of places where you can get public domain clip art. What you want to do, though, is when you're using their clip art, is make sure that it is truly public domain. On the article that I'm going to post uh, with this uh, video as part of the article, I will have a little bit more information and uh, samples of the public domain here. But let's look at Microsoft clip art. Now, Microsoft used to have on their site uh, free clip art for use, and um, it's no longer, they've closed down that portion of the site because there has not been enough use uh, to it. But you can see here uh, that there are a large variety of places that have free clip art. And just in passing, I'm going to mention that royalty-free is not the same as public domain. Um, a lot of uh, images that you purchase can be royalty-free, and we're not going to get into that right now, but uh, that is uh, something to be aware of, and I'll talk about it just briefly more in my uh, article on my blog. Thank you very much. I hope you find this helpful.